Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to teach you how to do various different inventory operations. Uh, firstly, I'm going to show you how you can get rid of a specific item that you're holding. So if you've ever tried to use inventory.find before, you'll know that it works kind of like this, where it gets the first one that it finds, which I will also be showing off today. Another one is a customizable loop method, which lets you do things like get certain items with tags or NBT tags, such as arrows and other things. And then I'm going to show you how you can drop items. Anyways, let's get started. I'm first off going to start with the amethyst shard just to get that out of the way. What you want to do is you do player dot get slot and then do player dot selected slot just like that. And then you do dot get with empty brackets and then you can do dot shrink or dot count minus minus whichever one you prefer. But anyways, I'm going to do shrink one, just that. And now if I go back in game, as you can see, it's now getting rid of the specific spot we're selecting. Next, I'm going to quickly do the gold ingot. Just like that, return. And for the gold ingot, I'm just going to create a variable, which will be player dot inventory dot find oops gold ingots or unidentified and then we're gonna do if no res then return so if it's unidentified as in it hasn't found the golden ingot then we're just gonna return that's just so you don't get errors in console and whatnot. And then we're going to do player dot get slot res dot get dot shrink. Just like that. Yeah, so as you can see here, it's deleting the first one that it detects. Next, I'm going to do the loop one. So, default... Oh shit, that's right. Oh, wait. So the next one we're gonna do is the loop. So we're gonna do if let i is zero, and then if i is less than or equal to 36, then we're going to up i, just like that. Now here, I'm gonna do if... Oops player dot get slot i dot get dot has tag and then we're gonna do minecraft arrows i think that's with an s i believe then we're going to do player dot get slot dot get dot shrink just like that and now let's go check that out in game real quick. Yeah, so as you can see here, it's deleting the first result of arrows that I get. Now you could probably get away with putting an array or something in here or trying to do something like that with find. However, this is way more customizable. As I unintentionally showed off, since I didn't have a return, it actually removed, like, all of the arrow stacks that I have. What I meant to show off is that if you don't have a return, it'll actually take from every stack. However, if you just put that return there, there you go. It now does it in a row. Now to show you the drop script, I'm just going to copy this make that copper ingot and instead of shrinking i'm going to do 
player dot drop. Let's just copy this player dot get slot. We're gonna do true. And then we're going to do player dot inventory dot set stack and slot. And we're going to set it to Minecraft. And there you go. Let's go in game. So yeah, as you can see there, it's throwing every stack that it gets in a row. Now, similarly to this loop, if I just remove that return statement right there, it will actually do all of my arrows in my entire inventory. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you later. Goodbye.